Hey guys, it's Saturday. Um, I hope you guys are having a fun Saturday morning with all the cartoons and the breakfast. Or if you're like me, sleeping till 12 in the afternoon. The, uh, the theme this week is to talk about gender identities, your interpretation of them, as well as how you feel society looks upon them. My interpretation of gender identity would be, I guess, however... I guess I'm just going to talk about how I feel about it, because I, I don't know. Alright. I don't like that society has a like, the social binary. Like, you're either a girl or you're a guy. There's no in-between, there's nothing. You're either a boy or a girl. And I think that's very stupid, because it's not clear-cut like that. You're not just, alright, you're definitely a girl, you're definitely a guy. I think there are so many people who fit in the middle that having a, a two having a binary system doesn't make any sense. It just, it doesn't. And I I feel, I get frustrated because like, I only wear guys' clothes. I, well, aside from like bras, <laughs> like, but I only wear guys' clothes. When I go to the store, I shop in the guys' section. When I, I wear boxers, I, 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 I only wear guys clothes and my mom or my friends are always like, why are you a girl? Aren't you, do you want to be a guy? Is that why? No, I don't want to be a guy. I just, I like being a girl. I just, I like wearing guys clothes. I feel like it fits me better. I feel like I'm more comfortable in it. So I'm going to continue to wear guys clothes. I cut my hair really short. Just got a buzz the other day. I, I don't know. I just, I like my hair short. I like to have a lot of masculine qualities, but I also like to have certain feminine qualities, too. So, it's not that I want to be a guy, I'm completely fine with being a girl, it's just some part of me feels like I'm a guy sometimes. And that's okay. So then when people in public, like, go, uh, oh, hey, uh, hey, sir, or like, sir, you forgot this, or sir, here's your drink, I don't get angry at them, because I understand that the, that this world that we live in only sees people as girls and boys and the, and the world that we live in only sees that if you're a boy you can do this and if you're a girl you can do this and there's no there's no intermingling like if you're a guy if you're a girl you're gonna wear dresses you're gonna like the color pink and you're gonna do this and this and this and like sparkles and all that other stuff and if you're a dude you're gonna like uh, cargo shorts and you're gonna wear mid socks and you're gonna have baseball hats and you're gonna you're not like the color blue, and you're like, guy things, like, guy things, like, I hate that term, like, what do you mean they're guy things, what do you mean they're girl things, it's just a social construct, like, that's not, that's not a thing, you just made that up, everyone makes that up, so there's no way for you to yell at me because I don't fit into your idea or society's idea of what an idea girl would be or what an ideal boy would be, I, I'm just me, I, I can't, I'm not gonna be, I've spent way too much time, um, one, worrying about what other people were going to think about me when I decided to be who I really was, and I frankly don't, I don't care anymore. Um, I just, I don't. So, if I don't fit into your little bubbles, well, screw you, I don't really care. Your bubbles are stupid, and you should pop them. And we should just have gender fluidity. I can't even speak this morning. You know why? Because it's too early. Um, actually, not that early, actually. It's like 11 o'clock, but I usually wake up much later. I had work this morning. It was stupid. Um, uh, your interpretation of them is what you feel. I feel like I covered that. I feel like, alright. The challenge is to tell your most embarrassing sex story. So now, I don't have an embarrassing sex story, but I, it's like, we weren't having sex, but... We were like make it was going to lead to sex eventually. Is that is that count? All right. So we were making out, and her parents weren't home. It's so like we just we didn't we were in the mindset that someone's gonna like come up the stairs. Well, our mom came home, and we're sitting there making out on our bed, and then like all of a sudden. Like, we hear the front door slam and someone will walk up the stairs. And now she's carpet stairs. So, like, by the time we realized it, she was, like, already halfway up the stairs. And we were like, shit. So, like, we, like, go away from each other. We, like, fixed our hair and our shirts. We're, like, and we're just sitting on the bed. And then her mom walked in and was like, what are you guys doing? Why do you guys all have red faces? Why is your hair all messed up? 
why isn't the TV on? What are you guys doing? And we were just like, uh, uh, we had no answer. And then she was like, oh, well, anyway, the food's downstairs. You want to eat it? Like, all right. So then she brought home pizza. So that was pretty much really embarrassing because her family is from, like, the deep south, like, deep, 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 deep south, like, if you, like, if you break my daughter's heart, I'm gonna s stuff a shotgun down your throat and kill you. That deep south. So, um, they were not a fan of me, didn't know we were dating, thought we were just friends, still didn't like me, did not like me at all. So that just, that did not help anything. Um, yeah, well, I hope you guys have a good week and stuff. And yeah. Don't make people feel weird because they don't fit into your bubbles. Don't do it. Just accept people for who they are and who they will, how they want to dress and what they want to watch on TV and what they want to listen to. Does it affect your life? No, it doesn't affect your life at all, so don't do it.